Hey guys, so real quick, ooh, let me brighten this up a little bit. So real quick, I wanted to talk to you about moving the rabbit colony that we have here. As you can see, it's a pretty big structure. Now, unlike the rabbit tractors, which you can see back there, I move those every other day. They're small, they're lightweight, they're easy. I just hook up a ratchet strap, I pull them uh, to the next spot, I move the little fence. Start to finish, it takes me maybe 10 to 15 minutes tops. Um, now this, because it's such a larger structure, we don't move it as often. Um, up until day before yesterday, we didn't even really have it ready to move. We didn't have it set up to be able to move it. But let me show you real quick what we did. So when I built this, I cut these right here, these side pieces, at an angle to create a bit of a skid. And then I put this timber right here, or this piece of lumber, in the front of it, and as you can see, it's attached at an angle so that as we slide it, it'll push down the vegetation and everything to make it slide easier. And so that makes it easier to move this. You know, I don't have these pieces here getting dug down into the ground because of the angle that I cut it at. This right here is what we attach our ratchet straps to. Uh, this is just a U-shaped bracket that I got at, at Lowe's. And we went ahead and attached this, bolted it on. We put one on each side. And so we attach a ratchet strap here and a ratchet strap there. And we could move this with our um, my John Deere, but the first time we moved it the other day, we went ahead and hooked up the truck to it, which I'll show you a picture of here. Now another reason for putting this board here in the center is when we're hooking those ratchet straps up, they're kind of pulling in a little bit. So this also reinforces these sides so that that wood doesn't um, have too much pressure on it. It was really easy to move, um, you know, as far as the structure goes. Now the rabbits inside, we took a couple extra steps to make sure that they were safe. The first thing I did was I went inside and I shoveled. <laughs> I shoveled all of the bedding, the manure, everything out of there, took it right down to the ground. We have a fence floor on the bottom of this colony, you know, structure, and that's so that the rabbits don't dig out and keeps them inside. Now, I didn't want to move this with the rabbits on that fencing because there was nowhere for them to get away from it. Whereas the rabbit tractors, when we move those, the rabbits hop inside the house. The house has a floor, so they're not on the ground while it's moving. So then what I did is after I shoveled all this out, and you can see over here where the colony used to be, bare ground, we took all of this, took it over to the garden area, and we're gonna spread that out and start enriching the soil over there. So, after I got it down to the, the ground, down to the fencing, and there was nothing else in there on top of that fencing, we took an extra tarp and I spread it out inside on the floor and completely covered the floor of the enclosure. And then we took bricks and just um, weighted them down in the corners that way it didn't go anywhere. So the rabbits just kind of ran around checking it out, trying to figure out what the heck it was, and they didn't know anything was going on, you know? They, they didn't even seem to notice. Whereas the big ones, when I move the tractors, they run around and they jump inside the house and they kind of go a little bit crazy. These ones were just busy checking out the, checking out the tarp, so. And then as soon as we got it in position, rolled away the tarp, and they had a great time eating all the fresh grass, so. We don't move this as often just because it's a little bit uh, more of a chore to do it. But uh, yeah, rabbits have fresh ground. And that's how we did it. I mean, start to finish, it took maybe 30, 35, 40 minutes. But the majority of that time was the raking up and the shoveling of the, uh, the bedding and the manure and everything in there. So um, I do kind of a, a little bit of a deep bedding method with the rabbits because I don't move them. I use grass clippings. I mow in such a way that all of the pasture grasses get kind of piled up and I just scoop it all up and I spread it out all inside here. So I do that every few days and it covers all of the existing manure 
um, they'll eat the fresh grass for a little bit then it'll dry up and be just like putting a straw you know floor in there so it worked really well there was no smell to speak of uh, very clean so there's a little bit of an update on the the rabbit colony very pleased with how this is working <laughs>